I'm not going to start this video by throwing myself under the bus and admitting to anything. But I think most, if not all of us, know someone who has obtained entertainment media without the proper legal or authorization or rights to do so. Despite what I may say later in the video, piracy is a problem. And I think I need to explain that first. I think I'd be much more sensible than talking about all this bad stuff and then going, by the way. So, in most cases, and there are certain exceptions, but this is not the video to delve into that if I ever do. I'm not sure I want to open that can of worms. But there are people who are working on these things who are decent, hardworking folk. They just want to be paid for their work. That's fine. That's what we all expect when we go and do a job. We want to be paid for it. Now, one of the counterpoints that people say that to justify piracy in some ways is, well, you know, a lot of people are paid up front, like the crew won't be paid in residuals. And that's right. You know, a lot of people are paid by a contract that's up front, etc., or it's a certain amount, it's, you know, whatever the case may be. They're not going to suffer if there aren't massive sales directly in relation to that one piece. But if people aren't paying for that one piece and are getting it through nefarious means, the message is being sent that we don't support this, therefore don't make more. When people complain that Hollywood is devoid of originality and creativity, these are often the people who will pirate everything. You know, and if you're pirating, I'm not saying it's fine in this, I nearly said that, but if you're pirating stuff from Disney and these big companies who can absorb these losses, they're just going to make more anyway, which is why they still do. But the independents, the small scale creators, and again, this is in every media format, but these smaller people are not able to absorb those costs. So sometimes you might be like, oh, I wonder where that indie game developer went. I wonder where this indie filmmaker went. They stopped working or they had to go into the studio system or whatever because you weren't paying them for doing what their passion project was, what they really wanted to do. So now they've had to go into a more soulless corporate avenue to survive or do something entirely different. So yes, piracy is a problem. It affects lives. It takes food out of people's mouths in a very, very realistic way, you know, long term. And it stifles creativity. The funny thing is that a lot of these people who complain about this void of originality are the people who aren't paying for the new stuff, the original stuff, the creative stuff, the independent stuff. So yes, piracy is bad. I think we can all agree in some form. However, the thrust of this video, the main point that I kind of wanted to make, but I did feel I had to get out of the way first, is De Nuvo can go and die. I totally understand why the gaming industry in particular has had to put these kind of things in place, various different DRM stuff, you know, to make sure that piracy is curbed. Now, it doesn't work because there's really, really good uh, programmers and stuff out there who can write cracks and, you know, change bits of code so that the game thinks it's genuine. And there are certain exceptions and there are really some funny examples of anti-piracy measures in games that almost go, okay, yeah, we know you've done this. We're just going to do something really silly so you can at least enjoy the game and maybe give us money in the future. Some go the other route and just go, well, you're taking money from us and now we're going to balk your entire system. And that's what De Nuvo does. I tried Ghostwire Tokyo a while back and I mostly enjoyed it, but I felt there was something a bit missing. So I was looking on my wish list and looking around generally and I was like, maybe I should give that another go because the Spider Thread update has released, you know, a free update that adds new stuff. I'm like, this needs to be supported. Well done, Tango Gameworks. Well done. So I booted it up and then my entire computer rebooted. I was like, my drivers are up to date. I know that. So what's gone wrong here? So I went back and looked over stuff, you know, tried to figure out what's going on. And again, I, I, I tried some things, started the game up again, and it rebooted my entire system. It wasn't just crashing out the game. The entire system was going, no, thank you. And this is my new rig, which is very future-proofed. It's pretty good for now, 
and it will be fine for the next few years. This is what I always like to do. But it just wasn't behaving. And then I saw something that's like, oh, they've added De Nuvo. Now, okay, I'm taking this off, you know, a forum somewhere, and if I'm wrong, fine. But it's very strange that someone seems to think this, and it's doing this for a lot of people. And there's a lot of reports out there where people will say that a game didn't have this particular anti-piracy measure, and all of a sudden afterwards, their games don't work as well. They crash out entirely, they reboot entire systems, they do all sorts. And all that that message, or all that this seems to do is send a message of, we're going to screw everyone over because pirates. The problem is, if you make genuinely purchased and owned or licensed not getting into that debate, I understand the difference. But if the people who have the rights to access it, have paid money over, are the ones suffering, and those who have gone through nefarious means where people have cracked out this terrible bit of anti-piracy measure and all that kind of stuff, well, it doesn't have to just be de novo, it can be other stuff as well. But when the people who have given you money are the only ones suffering, it's clearly not working. Unfortunately, companies like Denuvo will say things like, well, you know, we're stopping people because it takes a lot longer to crack hours. So there might be a weird teething problem and you've got to send out another patch so that everything will work with that thing that you added in. But that shouldn't be the case. We should be able to play our games because we've paid to license them. We should be able to access them without going, why is my computer completely reset on me? Why can we not reach a system where maybe you get a trial period maybe you can have a, a lesser function version for people on tighter budgets there are some people in this world and until very recently i was very much the same where piracy sort of seemed a better option because i couldn't justify slapping down 50 60 whatever on a new game but i could try a version through somewhere else and if i like it i might buy it that's exactly what happened with ghostwire tokyo and this is me doing that thing that i said i wouldn't do at the start but i think it's a very valid point i played a version that wasn't obtained properly but that made me go well maybe at some point down the line i'll, I'll give it another go and i've bought a version because i can see the potential in there and this quality of life improvement and new stuff justified it to me because i can afford to but like I say, this thing has made me go, maybe I should have just stuck with the less than legal version. So, and this isn't, like I say, this isn't just De Nuvo, it's just the most obvious one. If you've got the augmented Steam uh, plugin to your browser, which adds a little feature to Steam, it will often have a warning on Steam pages that use this. There's got to be a reason for that. There's got to be a reason people on forums say, this is the worst anti-piracy measure in existence. So, what am I proposing here? I, I'm not entirely sure. That's the problem. Because there needs to be a way to make piracy the, the less viable option, the less easy route. But I think there needs to be a dialogue between consumer and creator, where maybe, I don't know, you can... Go on their website and just say, look, I've not got much. Can I just give you a donation for a, a, a lesser function version? And I can maybe give you more down the line to unlock more features. I mean, OK, that's arguably saying trans microtransactions are a thing. And I don't agree with those either. We're avoidable. But it's a solution. I'm not saying this is the solution. There needs to be some way. I mean, this isn't fixing the problem with other industries because they don't screw your computer up as much. But like I say... That was my main issue. I have genuinely paid for a game, and unfortunately it was through a third-party reseller who, once you've activated your key, kind of game over for you. You know, you can't really get a refund. I mean, there's probably a way around it, but I'm, I'm not fighting with chat support because at some point down the line they might fix it, and I still want it. It's just I need to make sure it doesn't kill my computer. I'm going to end the discussion there, and I do welcome any suggestions, you know, for, for how we can move forward so that creators get properly funded, but consumers don't get screwed over. Happily leave those in the comments. But yeah, so piracy bad, de novo bad, 
I think that's everything. So thank you very much for letting me kind of talk, waffle, ramble, rant, all of the above. And until next time, as always, thank you for watching and take care.